Welcome back guys. As a designer or developer, we might have to use some elements over and over again. And we uh, maybe they look same, uh, they have different uh, styles, but they generally look the same and they uh, have same kind of properties. In that cases, we use copy pasting or using elements so many times that it just became a hectic. So in Webflow, uh, they propose a solution, it's called components. Components are previously called symbols, but right now uh, they just demolished it and now they are called components. Now, let me give you one example. For example, if I add a navigation bar into our canvas, for example, if I add a navigation element here and just put it on the top and now you can see we have a navigation bar okay now for example if i re if i want to reuse this element in multiple pages of uh, any website what should i be doing uh, normally people use copy paste for example if i just copy this one and paste it in another page uh, we can for example, if I copy this one and paste it in another page, we can re we can, for example, I can simply go and copy and paste it in another page, but this is a very bad approach. For example, after adding this element, I can convert this element to a component. For example, there are multiple ways we can convert this navigation bar to a component. One way is if I click on this navigation layer, and find our component tab, click on it and create a new component. Here we can give a name to our component navigation, okay, and create it. Right now I am in an edit mode of a component. If I have to get out of this mode, I can cl click escape or I can just click on this back button. Now you can see it stays, this is an instance, this is a navigation bar. Now, let me show you how we can use it. For example, if I go to the pages, and if I try to add a new page, okay, I just call it a second or maybe contact page, okay? And I create this page. After creating this page, I simply can go to our components tab and you can see we have a navigation bar component here. I click on this, you can see this component is right here. Now, what's the real help here? For example, if I go to the main home page, I just jump into the main home page here. And on the main component, if I want to change something, it's going to change automatically in all pages or all places that it has been used. For example, if I just change this contact name to contact us, okay. And now if I go back to the contact page, it's contact us. So this is how we can reuse the component or reuse the elements and just convert them into symbols or components. Symbols, the word, symbol is the word that now has not been used by Webflow. So we can keep on calling it component. Here in the components tab, you can also see that how many times this component has been used. So this is very helpful. Now, another thing I can show you here, if I just remove this component from all of the places, for example, first I remove this from the home page. And if I go back to the contact page, I just remove it from here. The component symbol always remain in the component area unless you delete it from here. Another example, for example, if I go come here on the screen, let me show you how we can create a component in a detailed way and then edit those component and then reuse those components. And then the fourth thing we will be doing, how we can override this component. For example, we have a card, okay? So I want to reuse this card. Normally, but what people will do, I will just simply copy and paste this card, okay, multiple times and I can reuse it. But no, we can use component to help us. There's another way also we can create a component is for example, you click on any layer and right click on the this tab here and cre click create component, okay? And now it gives you an option. I'll just call it a card and we are in the edit mode of the component. Okay, now if I just copy this component and paste it, you can see on the left app, we have this component sign. That means the, all of these are components connected. Now, for example, if I want to edit this, I just double click on this or I can just click on this edit button 
and change the card name. Okay, this two, this three. You can see the moment I change in one instance, it's going to change all of the other instance. This is a very good use cases. For example, if you have to change a lot of things in entire web, so you have multiple pages of website and you want to change few things or there's, a, there's an element that has been reused multiple times in the website, you can use component there. For example, I want to keep all of this design, but I just want to change the, the data inside it. For example, all these three cards should remain as a component, but we can change the image for these cards. So this is called overriding. For the main component, what I should be doing, if I go to edit this component and then open this card element, for example, this image, and if I go to settings from uh, the right side, and then if on the image tab, we can see this plus button. If I click on this, it says create a connected new property. Okay, so it says image. This is this is the way you are creating an override image settings. For example, we create this one. Okay. Now you can see the first image is this already. And in the second instance, I can just replace this image and change it. Okay. And the card components remains the same. For example, you have the same components. Okay. But the data of these cards can change. Now for the text element, we can also do the same. For example, this heading of the card. If I just double click on this element, click on the card, in the settings, if I go under the heading settings, under the text, we have this plus button, we click on this, and then we create a new property here. For example, we just say it like heading text four, or maybe adding text, okay? And card one is the main text here. We click on this. Now we can change the text of other cards. For example, the second card, I just double click here you can see on the right side you can change the text here or here on the canvas also if I just click backspace and click to we can change the elements override now sometimes you want to unlink your instance from the main component so there is a very easy way to do it for the last element for the last instance I'll just right click on it and then we'll find an option called unlink instance if I click on this and from the left navigator, you can see it's no longer a component or an instance, it's just a simple div. One of the use cases I would like to show you that we can use this component and it has already been used by multiple de designers and developers. For example, I have this website here and you can see we have a navigation bar here. Now, this is the home page. And if I go to another page, you can see there's an, an, another navigation bar, which is exactly the same. So in this scenario, you can use components because this navigation bar is going to be same in all pages. And if you make any change to any text, color or logo, it has to be changed in other pages also. Same goes for most of the websites uh, nowadays is for footer. Footer in most of the websites remains the same in almost all of the pages. So for footer also, you can use components so that it remains the same. And if you want to make any change, you can change it in one element and the changes applies to all of the other components. So thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.